Welcome to Garden to Glass. I'm Gillian, your fearless plant explorer. Garden to Glass is a sensory tour of the Bowles Conservatory that concludes with a tropical cocktail. Now, while the tours are on hold, I invite you on this virtual visit with me. As you can see, we're surrounded by green, which is without a doubt, Albrecht's favorite color. But I'm wearing green for another reason, in honor of St. Patrick's Day, when people all over the world celebrate the island nation of Ireland. And we thought this would be an opportune time to spotlight some of the plants here in the conservatory that are also at home on islands. The tree above me, Cocos nucifera, or the coconut palm, inhabits thousands of tropical islands around the globe. It's well suited for tropical islands because it inhabits sandy soil, it loves abundant sun, it tolerates salinity, and it likes high humidity. And one of the reasons it's become so abundant is that its thick husked coconut seeds float. So they fall from the tree, thusly, <laughs> and roll down the beach into the ocean where they follow the ocean current to other islands where they colonize. But they've also had a helping hand from us humans. So our seafaring ancestors carry these coconut seeds, which are convenient vessels for food and water, ideal for long journeys. Now, botanists have done genetic testing on the coconuts, and they believe that they were domesticated twice, once in India and once in the Malay Peninsula. By mapping the genes of these coconuts, it gives us an insight into human exploration. One thing to mention, this tree above me here has been in the conservatory for 10 years and just started to produce coconuts last year. They've harvested the coconuts, taken the coconut juice, collaborated with Working Draft Brewery and created a beer. Now, we'd like to continue our collaboration with Working Draft, so keep your eye out for the next botanical brew. Now I've got another plant I'd like to show you, but we've got to sneak into Albrook's greenhouse to see it. <laughs> Let's go! Unlike the prolific coconut palm, this plant here, B. insignis, or Alulu, was originally native to just a handful of islands. Scientists founded the last individual plant on the Nepali coast in Kauai. Now this plant is thought to be critically endangered or possibly extinct in the wild. And things like invasive species, landslides, hurricanes, and climate change are thought to contribute to a loss of habitat for this plant. But fortunately, botanists had collected seeds of this plant and sent it all over the globe to other conservationists and growers. So you can find it in greenhouses throughout the United States under another common name, cabbage on a stick. And if you look at it, you can see how it got that name. Now, Albrook works with other botanical gardens, growers, and conservationists throughout the world to conserve these endangered and threatened species. As a matter of fact, we've got more than 50 endangered and threatened species living in the conservatory. And growing these plants acts as sort of a living seed bank to give these plants a fighting chance of survival. Humans and plants have a shared history. Some plants, like the coconut palm, have been spread far and wide through our assistance. Other plants, like the alulu, have been driven to near extinction due in part to man-made climate change. The Bowles Conservatory educates us about the importance of these tropical plants and how our actions impact the environment. Through education, we hope that you're motivated to conserve the biodiversity of rainforests. We hope you join us next month for another Garden to Glass virtual visit. Bye-bye.